Today I'm going to break down and prove to you that Alex Van Halen is without a doubt a straight up genius. And maybe you think you get it because you've memorized all of 1984 or Van Halen 1 or any of those older Van Halen records. But trust me, when you dig really deep into Alex's playing, you're going to find out that his playing is absolutely incredible. So if Alex Van Halen blows your mind by the end of this video, which I'm pretty sure he's going to because his parts are absolutely incredible. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the likes and all that fun stuff because it really helps us show the entire world the power of drumming and music in general. Let's do it. So that was the guitar solo section from the song Jump, and for any of you who have tried playing this, the song itself is pretty simple. But the second this guitar solo comes up, everything changes and all of a sudden we're dealing with syncopated ride patterns and shots and stuff like this. Now a little bit of backstory about this, when they recorded 1984 at Eddie's brand new 5150 studio, there actually wasn't enough room to fit an entire kit like this in the tracking room. So Alex had this obsession with Simmons drums apparently, and that's what he used on the record. He had Peisty cymbals, an acoustic snare, and a Simmons kit that he recorded the entire record with. And I think there's still some overdubbed acoustic fills, but I guess Alex and the producers are really the only ones who will ever know. But check this out, this is the guitar solo section from Jump, it's pretty cool, here we go. So that's a tough one for sure, that full 8 bar guitar solo section, but so cool and really a perfect snapshot into Alex Van Halen's brilliant drumming from the record 1984. Alright, this one is really fun and you just heard me play through that intro there. This is actually tougher than it looks because it doesn't start right on beat one. And the way Eddie Van Halen's guitar is phrased, it's all over the bar line. There's some syncopated tom hits that Alex is playing there. Really, really cool drum part. And whether you're a drummer or just a fan of Van Halen, you know this drum groove, you know the guitar riff, and this is something that so many drummers have been playing along to since it came out in 1984. If Van Halen calls, tell them they rule. What? Did they call? Check this out, this is the full intro from the song Panama. The groove you've all been waiting for, the signature Alex Van Halen drum groove, his double bass shuffle from Hot For Teacher. So if you've heard anything about this groove, you know there's some discussion and controversy around this drum part. But Ted Templeman, Van Halen's producer from 1984, explains it like this. Don Landy and I worked with Alex to create this trademark drum intro for the song. If you listen to the very beginning, it doesn't sound like a drummer. It's too random a pattern. That's because the first five seconds are the Lamborghini exhaust and then Al's electronic drums come in. It took Don a lot of time and work to match up the sound of the Simmons drums to the sound of the idling engine. So you heard me, right? A Lamborghini mixed with the sound of a Simmons kick drum. That's what you're hearing in the beginning of this track. And here beside me I've got a Simmons SDS-5 module from the early 80s triggering both of the kick drums so we get an actual accurate representation of the kick sound on 1984. Now moving a little bit further in the intro, we get the classic groove that Alex plays on the ride cymbal with the shuffling double bass. Check this out, this is the groove from Hot For Teacher.
So we had to include something from the album Fair Warning because that's the kit we have here. This is based off of Alex's kit from that era, and this is one of my favorite records from Van Halen. Now, the track Unchained in the bridge section that we're looking at, the phrasing of the vocals over the guitar riff almost makes it feel like odd time, but this is definitely all in 4-4. Here, Alex is like really laying into the ride cymbal, even though it's a thicker cymbal. Ton of wash happening over here, and the snare and the kick is locked in with the guitar and the bass. And that's what really makes this so brilliant. Now, sure, you could say that about a lot of other brilliant musicians out there, but really listen to what Alex is playing in this pre-chorus section. The syncopation and displacement between the kick and the snare, the shots on the cymbals, and even some signature Alex Van Halen cymbal chokes. This is a brilliant Alex Van Halen part. Check this out. This is the pre-chorus from the song Unchained. So this is Why Can't This Be Love, a classic off of 5150. Now, this song isn't really a drum heavy song, but what we see here is a perfect example of how Alex Van Halen really took technology to its fullest potential and started pushing the boundaries with what was modern at that point in time. This is something we see across the board with other drumming legends like Neil Peart and Bill Bruford, and even other music icons like Bob Dylan and Miles Davis. So check this out, this is the bridge from Why Can't This Be Love with all of the Simmons drums. All right, that's a wrap for this lesson on Alex Van Halen, one of my all-time favorite drummers and an absolute legend in the rock drumming world. So if you enjoyed this lesson, be sure to like and subscribe because there's so much other amazing content here on the Drumio channel. But before you go, make sure you leave a comment below this video. I wanna know what your favorite Van Halen song is or your favorite Alex Van Halen drum part. Let's have a whole bunch of stuff below this video with a whole library of suggestions for drummers to check out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.